loving these uh, wine bag, box wine bag pillows. And they're holding up great. It is a really cool. I'll post the link right there to the whole idea. It's so cozy in my tent tonight. What a beautiful, peaceful night. I did a video last uh, summer about using uh, the, the bag inside a uh, box of wine and using it as a backpacking pillow. And then I went on a three month bicycle camping trip all across the UP. It was about five or six hundred miles. And I took three of these and they worked so well as pillows. Not one of them popped. So I was camping every night for 90 or 100 days. And uh, this was just great, except for one thing. And that's why I want to follow up with a different video. When you blow this up to make a pillow out of it, and I use three of them because one I'll put between my knees when I sleep on my side because I have a bad back. And the other, I just use as a pillow. And the third one, I kind of like to use like a teddy bear. I'm sorry. I'm out in the middle of nowhere with nobody for miles and miles. So I like to comfort myself and not think about wolves or bears or cougars. Or... So anyway, what I'm doing now is I'm blowing the last of the wine out of it. Why I wanted to follow up was to tell you how durable this is. What a great idea it is to be able to use these bags because they are so thick and durable. As a pillow, it lasted me so long. The other thing is, it's really hard to get water in here to rinse it out. And so, every night, actually every morning, when I would be packing up and I would deflate this, let all the air out, i smell wine. And like there were hardly any droplets in there but I would still smell it. And so, I don't want you to have the same limitation. And I'm going to try now to get some water in there just by opening the valve and holding it underneath the... It might work. There might be enough pressure. All you need is a little bit to get in there to dilute the... There. Seal this. Actually, I'm going to blow this up. And then I can shake it up to sort of wash out that wine that's in there. Anyway, you can see now that the water has mixed with the wine. You've got some almost like suds in there. Now I'm going to blow it out again. So, if you're going to use this idea for a free backpacking pillow, it collapses so well and is so durable. You might have to drink some wine to get the free back control. That's fine. You'll want to rinse it out, just like I've done, because otherwise you'll smell wine every morning when you break camp and pack up to leave. But I love to have uh, videos like this where I can follow up, I can get back with you months later. That was a three month backpack. And so it's really fun to be able to it's really fun to be able to operate the camera mount so I can get there we go. And it's really fun to not have some producer breathing down my neck saying we've only got a 30 minute segment so no we can't follow up three months later. I think that's what makes my YouTube channel special. You get to see me age you get to see me gain weight and lose weight. I can lose, I can gain 20 pounds faster than Oprah. And uh, I lost easily 20 pounds in, on my trip. Doug's diet plan is to get on your bike and pedal every day for three months. That worked. Eat whatever you want while you're doing that. That's what I did. Anyway, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel because when I get all those videos of that fantastic trip organized and edited, I'm going to start uploading on a regular basis and you can sort of follow along. That was a trip of a lifetime. Tons of adventure there. Anyway, try the uh, backpacking pillow that comes free in every box of mine. Because we know it works. I've tested it.